What up, what up, what up, what up, y'all? This is Mike, the philosopher, here with another one. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, y'all. This one is about Remy and Pat Poos, okay? I don't know if y'all know, but your girl Remy has been caught slipping out on Pat Poos. Okay. And I have to say, just in my opinion, that uh on the on the female side, there have been a lot of L's that are being taken right now. Okay. You got Jada Smith, you got Remy, you got a number of different ladies who are taking L's in the community okay um the latest is remy now listen men are very confused ladies and here's the reason why men no longer know what you want we would like for there to be a representative to step up and clearly describe what it is you want. And the reason why is because men are confused. Well, why are men confused? You ask. Well, here's why. If you pick some of the best relationships described by women, we will, we as the men delegation will see a problem with those relationships you want some examples fine here are some examples Will and Jada Smith now women might want a high value man who is a celebrity who's known worldwide who is relatively handsome very successful but then she goes and and sleeps with her son's friend. Men don't see the value in being all of those things only for that to happen. You want another example? Here's another one. Steve and Marjorie Harvey. Okay. Steve is, you know, act like a man, think act like a woman think like a man you know he's a relationship expert turns out there have been rumors that have been going around that his wife is sleeping around on him now he does nothing but praise his wife does nothing but give her practically everything she wants and we see that backfiring in the men delegation we disqualify this relationship as being beneficial to the man, just like the Smith situation. Example number three, Remy Ma, uh, uh, Jenny Ma, and Jeezy. We see in this relationship where he has a woman that he can't get along with she's honorary she's disagreeable she wants everything her way she's moving all of her family into their house and he can't deal with that apparently she doesn't want to listen to Jeezy so he had to file for divorce We in the male delegation, we do not see the benefit for the man in this relationship. <laughs> okay. Uh, can we get some cooperation, please? Now, I know what some women are saying. Look, this is not all situations. I'm just saying these. this is a good sample of dating or even marriage in the West and men after day after day after day 
see these relationships not benefiting the men and these are relationships that women adore these are the relationships that women love and the latest example Remy Ma and Papoose now these two were pretty much the poster child for black love they were the poster child for love period among couples Remy Ma a dope MC and Papoose even doper MC okay they showed a lot of the black community how love is supposed to look like I said they were the poster child for black love even wore a hat that said black love okay Remy Ma goes to jail for what six seven years the whole time Papoose holds her down before they even get married they get married I believe while she's in jail have conjugal visits you know he sees her and visits her every day <clears throat> they become a strong couple he doesn't cheat on her at all holds her down the whole time while she's in jail is it's 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 as if the <laughs> the roles were a bit reversed okay and it, again this is a relationship that women point to as an, a good example of how it should be but what happens Remy Ma decides she she wants to cheat on Papoose a man who has held her down for years not only while she was in jail but as a married couple she decides to go out and cheat what they call the beekeeper teeth. Okay. And this guy is named Easy, the block captain. Okay. And this is very embarrassing because she got in the battle rap, uh, a battle. It wasn't her directly. It was easy, but they got into a battle and the guy let the world know. Remy, you are up here supporting the victim. We done had six chrome events, six chrome events. Papoose was at all of them. How come he ain't at this one? Where he at? He ain't in New York. Why we ain't in New York? Because the last time there, your husband punched on him. So you actually brought it to where he more comfortable at. So if he did decide to show up, this weirdo can have the ups on him. Man, you fell for real. I hope that awkwardness in your home, your child don't feel. How can you support him? How can you protect the nigga that showed he couldn't protect you? It's wild for real. This nigga's a chump. This nigga's a chump. You know he ain't got the heart, fool. Fucking a nigga bitch when you ain't got hands ain't even a smart move. But listen. That ain't even a smart move. Hey, hey, every interview, every interview, every interview, hold it down, he already dead. Hold it down. Every interview, he show his admiration and tell the world how his woman the greatest. Nigga, he held you down in prison for six years. I know it was nice, he cried big tears. He stood by you by your biggest accomplishment, front row giving you big tears. Now y'all got a beautiful baby girl who oh so amazing. He be damned if he lose you to this bozo with braces. Nigga, hey, hey, the world ain't never supposed to know what you and me going through. Hey, the world ain't never supposed to know what you and me going through. But this nigga behind closed doors running his mouth like a hoe post to do. Got niggas making blogs and YouTubes. People arguing in the comments if those posts is true. Because them TMZ and Shade Room outlets, they only know you. Listen, hey, hey, they only know you. And this is, this is, this is what's going on right now. And it is very confusing 
for the male delegation because we say, ladies, this is what you wanted. This was an example of what you were talking about. But you go and you cheat on the man who held you down, who promoted black love. What is it that you want? Because it seems if a man gives you everything, you don't appreciate it. And you even have less respect for that man. So we are very confused as to what you want. And for good reason. Now, the Remy Ma situation reminded me of a philosophy that I have. I am Mike the philosopher, okay? <laughs> and I have a philosophy about the fairer sex, the women, when it comes to a, this type of situation. I call this philosophy the sprint to the wall. Mike, explain this sprint to the wall, would you please? Okay, okay, of course. I will explain to you what the sprint to the wall theory is. And this is a Mike the Philosopher exclusive. You never heard this term before, okay? This is my creation along with the gray zone. The sprint to the wall philosophy is this. Whenever a woman is around 38, 35 to 38 years old, you have to watch out for that woman. Why do you have to watch out for that woman? Well, because they are going through what I call a new puberty and a new or an or you could call it an old puberty is when their body is biologically telling them we're about to hit the wall. Okay. We are about to hit the wall. We're the baby making process is about to be over. So the female body pumps it with the need to procreate in a last ditch effort to have some kids. Now, it doesn't matter if the woman has kids or not. That's not the point. The body is saying this is our last run around this lap. OK, this is our last. This is our last lap around this around this track. We we are going to have to uh, if, if, if there is a time to do it, this is the time. And what happens is women enter their sexual peak. This is why women enter their sexual peak because their body is about to be done with the baby making process. So it's a last ditch effort to get women out there to procreate. For men, it's called a midlife crisis. But for women, I call it the sprint to the wall. And the reason I call it that is because women are super sexual, they're super charged, and this is when they make some of the most, um, they make some of the most questionable decisions in their life. <laughs> it's the nicest way I could say it, okay? They make a whole bunch of messed up decisions some of them become cougars others try and enter their 304 phase around this time and again it doesn't matter if they're married it doesn't matter if they already have kids some women will even destroy their family in this phase they will destroy their marriage. They will destroy their family. It's a last ditch effort for male attention. Okay. Remy Ma is 45. 
she's been putting off this sprint to the wall phase for a number of years she's a little late to be honest and that was probably because she was in a loving marriage right but it still hit Remy Ma she is now on that last lap on that track and in that sprint to the wall and in this sprint to the wall she is sprinting to probably catch as many bodies as she probably can before she hit that wall before she don't want it no more and again this is when a lot of women file for divorce this is when a lot of women become cougars this is when a lot of women you know freeze eggs this is this is a this is a this is a critical time for women 35 to 45 okay if i'm being honest personally i watch out for women in this age range because i know it's coming i'm not saying that they're undateable they're still dateable there's some, still a lot of great women in this age range however in the back of my mind i'm thinking she is due for her sprint to the wall she is due for it now some might say well you know this could be some might some might even benefit from this from from these women okay if you're if you're if you're the side dude <laughs> and you're not the husband you could benefit from this okay you as the side dude can benefit from this i love some side dudes say i love women who are in the sprint to the wall phase because they're coming towards me but if you are in a established relationship that 35 to 45 age range is dangerous if you are established because women are going to want something different this is a what i would consider a primal instinct it's an effort to procreate with someone different to get different genes out into the world now this is not a conscious effort trust me i don't think women are trying to have babies like that i don't think this is a conscious i think it's a subconscious effort to do that that's why i call it a sprint to the wall because this is their last sprint and once they're done with this sprint they're going to hit the wall something hard and they're not going to be able to have kids no more and they're slowly going to start to get out of even wanting intimacies anymore okay so unfortunately i see this <clears throat> scenario playing out between remy ma and papoose I see this scenario playing out with a lot of couples in that age range, that 35 to 45, you know, I would even say 35 to 50 range. And it's something that happens. Unfortunately, they were the poster children of the black love movement. And this breakup breaks a lot of people heart and including mine because I was rooting for them very much they were giving a great example on how it could be and how it could look they were pretty much the real life well maybe not the real life Cosby's but the rap version of the Cosby's. Okay. Now, one thing I noticed is that Remy Ma is 
very masculine as a woman. I never really thought that she <laughs> respected Papoose in a way that she should. I've seen this years ago. I always seen Papoose putting her on a pedestal. I never seen her put Papoose on a pedestal. Remy Ma has masculine energy. Their roles were reversed. Okay. Remy Ma has she's she's a competitor. She's in a she's a battle rapper. That is a masculine trait. She is a rapper, period. That is a masculine trait. It looked to me that she never, ever viewed Papoose in the same way he viewed her. That part I did not understand. But for the sake of black love, I said, I'm just going to see what happens. But I seen... <laughs> kind of want to say I seen this coming a mile away because I seen how she viewed him long ago long ago long ago before this even happened and I always said to myself Papoose why do you keep putting this woman on a pedestal and she never does that with you why are you doing that bro why are you doing that but at the end of the day, I was thinking, you know what? If you're happy, you like it, I love it. Do y'all. But I can't say I'm surprised by this. So you see, ladies, men are confused. I just named off four relationships that, for the most part, women would like to be in. And at the same time, it's always <laughs> non-beneficial for the man. So we're going to need a representative to come out and explain to us in detail what it is that women want. Shout out to Papoose. Shout out to Steve Harvey. Shout out to Jeezy. Shout out to Will Smith. And shout out to all of their wives. But we as the male delegation need answers. Because if these guys can't make a marriage work, can't nobody make a marriage work. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'd be interested to know. Hit the like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.